Someday we'll get paid for this. Hello and welcome to Scrapple News. I'm A.P. Ticker, high atop the Scrapple News Towers. I'd like to thank whoever took my tie and gave it back. I feel better this week. I hope you missed it as much as I. And now for the news. While inspecting a container of bananas at the port of Wilmington in Delaware, customs agents discovered 63 pounds of cocaine with a street value of an estimated $2 million. Shit. Oh, I mean, <clears throat> terrible. Just terrible. In related news, more than 2,200 people have been arrested during a 22-month investigation aimed at thwarting Mexican drug cartel efforts to distribute narcotics across the U.S. and funnel guns and money back south of the border. Throughout Metro Atlanta, DEA agents say Mexican drug cartels are hiding in plain sight. Inside this closet, a shopping bag holds a quarter million dollars in cash. Also seized, six pounds of methamphetamine with a street value of another quarter million dollars. The probe, called Project Deliverance, focused on shutting down many of the cartel's U.S.-based cells that smuggle drugs, including cocaine, heroin, and marijuana, across the U.S.-Mexican border, collect them at major distribu distribution points like Houston, and then distribute them nationwide. The Justice Department says the probe has led to the seizure of $154 million in currency, more than 1,200 pounds of methamphetamines, and 2.5 tons of cocaine. You thought I couldn't say methamphetamine, didn't you? Wrong. More than 1,400 pounds of heroin and 69 tons of marijuana. Shit! Uh, I mean, terrible. Just, just terrible. Summer has become the season of politicians self-destructing on YouTube. We all remember Virginia Senator George Allen's career-ending macaca moment back in 2006. The latest lawmaker to melt down on camera in, is North Carolina's Bob Etheridge, who roughed up a college student reporter after he asked if the senator fully supported the Obama agenda. Just here for a project, sir. Tell me who you are. We're just here for a project. I don't sir, care about please let go of my hand. Tell me who you are. I'm just a student, sir. From Tell me who We're you just are. students. Just That's all we are. I have a right to know who you are. Sir, you are. I'm all we are is students. So am I. Who are you? Who are you? Please let go of my arm, sir. sir. Who are you? Sir, sir, who sir, please. Congressman, please sir. let go of me. Who are you? Bad senator, bad down boy, down. After just one day on YouTube, that video has been watched by more than one million people. Good luck in November, Senator. We end on a sad note. My old pal Jimmy Dean, famed sausage king and noted country singer, died yesterday at the age of 81. I know you're saying there's old Dean and he's gonna talk about sausage again wrong. I'm going to talk about chicken, I'm going to talk about steak, and I'm going to talk about biscuits. Jimmy Dean is perhaps best known to younger viewers as the avuncular face of Jimmy Dean Sausages, which he started back in 1969. So we took a tender piece of steak and a nice southern fried piece of chicken, and we put that in a biscuit. It's good for breakfast in the morning or a late night snack or any time in the... But back in the 50s, Dean was a beloved country singer. His big hit was Big Bad John. Every morning at the mine you could see him arrive. He stood six foot six and weighed 245, kind of broad at the shoulder and narrow at the hip. And everybody knew you didn't give no lip to Big John. Adios, partner. In Scrapple Sports. England has never beaten the USA in World Cup soccer. Over the weekend, the Yanks tied their snaggletooth brothers from across the pond one to one. The US team can almost consider that a win as they were seven to one underdogs in the game.
The Americans evened the score on one of the worst goals in World Cup history. Why is it a tie? Come on, England. Come on, USA. One of you's got to win. Come on, just start They're punching each other. Was that Bill Buckner's bastard son tending goal for the Brits? Up next for the red, white, and blue is Slovenia on Friday. Ah, Slovenia, Slovenia, you border Italy and the Adriatic. Ah, I love singing that song. The capital of Slovenia is Ljubljana. So now you know. Look it up. In other news, a man from Stockton, California recently traded an autographed Babe Ruth baseball for a Pete Rose bat that was used by the disgraced hit maker back in 1985. The man who traded for the bat, Bill Schubert, decided to have the bat x-rayed, which sure enough showed that the bat had been corked. That's illegal for all you non-sports fans. No word if Major League Baseball will, will react to this. I mean, can they give Charlie Hustle another lifetime ban? Double life. Like, even if he dies and gets reincarnated, he still can't play pro baseball? <sighs> One can only hope. I'm A.P. Ticker, and the bird is the word.